Jackie Tricks Chapter 4 Review If you're new here, remember to like and subscribe and support the official comic releases. So we begin with a look at the cover here where we get to see an iconic wild mount being depicted in the Jackie Tricks form. And of course, one of our first looks at our official Jackie Tricks wild mount design. Firstly, I like how humanoid she looks here. It gives a great little variation of the design to the alien which I really like. I hope that doesn't make me a furry. However, let's get to the first page. We begin with a nice expositionary shot which reminds us that yes, we are indeed in the woods. I actually thought the forest would have been burnt down here now to think of it. So it seems that we have either found some way of of course getting the flames put out that heart blast caused in the previous chapter just like what happened in the original classic series without casting a whole you know forest burnout thing like what happens in classic. We have a pretty similar dialogue as we did in the official episode. Ben explains the situation with how he receives the watch and swears that it latching onto him wasn't his fault. Having him explain this in human form is quite unique though as we pretty much never get to see a perspective like this in the original series. This balances a very similar expression as what he did in the show, albeit with different shots and angles, nothing too drastic or grand in changes. The only major difference is that Gwen actually roasts her marshmallow on Heat Blast and in the official series canon, she tosses it to Ben, who eats it in the heat blast form. Now Gwen asks a very important question, which is who is heat blast, really referring to her as a monster. However, Grandpa Max interjects, letting Gwen know that she is not a monster, she's an alien. However, Ben triples down and lets both know that she is neither monster nor alien but a superhero. Both pause in shock, which completely mirrors the exact scene they had where Ben and Gwen were confused when Grandpa Max mentioned Ben to be an alien. He points at her and highlights her obvious traits of having fire powers and the Chakitrix symbol that he calls a superhero symbol. But Grandpa Max raises even more on surety and then tells Ben to just ask her. However, Ben reveals that Heat Blast is not sure either of her own origins outside of when she was summoned in the forest. Ben being as enthusiastic as he always is gives her a new name combining the elements of the Chucky Trick symbol and her ability to blast fire naming her Heart Blast. Which of course with her being the impressionable newborn that she actually is, she loves the name. Ben then proceeds to continue fooling around with the Chucky Tricks but Grandpa Max tells him not to as he goes to check out the wreckage of the watch's pod. But Ben ignores that and fools around with the watch anyways with Heart Blast watching in excitement. A thing I took note of while reading this is that Heart Blast hasn't de-transformed yet and still remains as an alien construct even after Ben would have timed out himself in classic because he timed out during the campfire conversation in the classic episode. I decided to ask Trix about this and she elaborated to say that the watch doesn't actually have a timeout but it does however have a recharge mode. Ben continues to fiddle around with the watch of course against Grandpa Max and Gwen's wishes with hopes of unlocking the memories of Heart Blast, finally finding the Wild Mutt icon which he then slams the dial down to access. We get a full page spread of the sequence of Wild Mutt which looks so amazing akin to Sailor Moon transformations. However, an important thing that I have noted is that these transformations start out as female human silhouettes and then gain their own alien hybridizations. Once Wild Mutt is summoned, Heart Blast disappears and of course two questions pop up to the Tennyson duo which is where is Heart Blast and who is the new alien girl? Before we can get any answers, a Wild Mutt seems to be sensing something and runs off quickly to see what it is with Gwen and Ben right behind her. Ben loses sight of her in the forest and searches for her when he is found by one of the droids sent to Earth by Vilgax who are seeking to capture the Chakitrix. However, we end up getting this full page spread of this very iconic scene where Wild Mutt pounces from the forest and man in every single way possible I love this page. She trashes the orange tin can and Ben starts to think to himself wondering if she's a superhero. He isn't technically incorrect as they finally become acquainted and Ben pets her. However, trouble still looms as she smells something nearby and starts to growl. Another droid appears but Gwen and Wild Mutt tag team it and crush it. Gwen with a shovel should have really been what we got throughout the classic series, I swear. We get our first shot of the RV in the next scene 
and it looks pretty good which is quite interesting i guess they decided to keep the design as close to classic as they possibly could and we see the team discuss what happened now ben shows them how the watch actually works and grandpa max seems to be swaying more towards assisting ben in his journey as a police radio report of a giant robot comes on on the rv and ben and wild girl yes he named her wild girl storm out of the rv as the comic ends i like this rendition of the comic a lot it has quite a bit of similarities between the original episode and itself, however some unique stuff as well. I like the original bits of the dialogue and the art style, it has a lot of anime influences and I really enjoy that too, it's pretty refreshing. I look forward to seeing what happens in the next chapter to see if Wild Girl will actually be able to fight off this big droid or if we will be getting another alien for combat hopefully diamond head please remember to support the official releases of these comics in the description go and follow tricks on twitter and if you want to summon the information from the previous 30 chapters click these videos here